going on, guys? What's going on, guys? Just drop you some like questions there. What's happening? It's another Telegram group now. Let Instagram know. What are you up to, guys? Letting Instagram know. Okay. Hey, Rosa Mystica. Uh, right off to the fucking races already. You were like, I gotta get my fucking question in there. How to review your incorrect after first pass? Is it by doing incorrect? Is it by doing questions of incorrect only? It's like the first fucking question I don't even know what you're asking. How to review your incorrects? Your in my fucking incorrects? You mean your incorrects? Uh, after first pass, uh, are you talking about QBank? Are you talking about NBME? I don't like that question. It's too much like, too much goes into that question instantly. There's no warm up. There's no fucking, there's no warm up with that. It's like an ESL question that like requires a lot of elaboration. I don't like that question. I don't like that. That like ticks me off for some reason. Um, after you finish QBank, I've said that you're going to do the NBMEs 20 and 21. And if your scores are shitty, you have to go back to incorrects and you'll just do normal and number like 40 per day of incorrects. You got to do a month of QBank before going back to the NBME exams. It's a long discussion. Um, it's just, you know, Sabi, hello. Good. That's how we should start the chat. Good. Jinti, what's going on, Jinti? MSI, good to see you. Guys, give the video a like. Give the video a like coming to live stream here. Sarah, what's going on? Sarah, I think it's your first time here. Uh, Muda Beer. What's going on, Muda Beer? Muda Beer. What's happening, Muda Beer? Where are you at? Mom Doe. Good to see you again. HUD, good to see you back. You were MIA past couple of live streams. Joy, good to see you back. You were also MIA. Um, the prestigious astute has made the, his grand entrance. Mimi, good to see you. Hud, you're handsome coming to Korea. Are you in Korea? I didn't know that. Are you a dude or a chick, HUD? Um, I said I'm into Asian chicks. I like Korean chicks, but like, you know, Korea's got a fucking birth rate problem. It's like feminist central over there. It's all about like career and having no kids. Like, why would I want to live there? I wanted to like move there uh, back in 2018, actually. I wanted to go to Korea. Um, but now, like, I think I've changed my mind on that. It's number one in the world for lowest birth rate. People aren't having kids there in Korea. Great fucking barbecue. Great, great fucking chicken. Kankoku miso, love it. Chanja, amazing. The alcohol in Korea, amazing. But you got people who are like, no, I'm going to focus on my career uh, and I'm not going to have kids. And I'm going to, uh, that's, I mean, that's how it is in Korea. It's got serious problems over there. Serious problems. Um, Hamad, how high is this derm for step one? It's hit or miss. You should know basic derm. You should know your cellulitis, erysipelas, and vitigo. I have, I have high yield derm PDF, right? So, it's, it's a it's an easy PDF to go through. High yield derm. A lot of pictures. Okay, people like their pictures. People don't want like boring text, no pictures, right? They don't like that. But there's pictures in high yield derm. Believe it or not, right? So no problems going through high yield derm. Bayram, you said literally been 30 seconds on live and there were already questions. Well, no, it's not. There weren't already questions. It was one fucking question. 
uh, that someone came into the live stream. That, that first question in the live stream pissed me off um, because it wasn't like a straightforward question. It was a very like ESL in combination with like, uh, that's a long discussion. There was no warm up there. Um, I just didn't like that. That for some reason, like ticked me off. MSI, should we focus on immunology now? Step one is pass fail. Focus, no, but should you have a vulnerability where you don't know anything? That's also a no. So look at my high yield immuno PDF. But you don't have to like obsess over immuno. Like you got to know basics though. You got to know like fucking T cell versus B cell. Like you got to know some basics. Um, the immunodeficiencies, right? Guys, give the video a like if you're coming to the live stream. Por favor. Dimitri Kovtun. Good to see you, Dimitri. Nakia. Good to see you too, Nakia. Thanks for being a member of my channel. I know you're a member because you're green and everyone else is gray. The 129 man times two. What's going on? Shadi. Your opinion on algorithms, should we memorize all or like understand the idea? The answer is no. Those types of things like you're going to memorize like U world algorithms or something, waste of time. Okay. I could go on a long discussion about different things. I'd say the highest yield, the, the two highest yield algorithms, quote unquote, for US Simile are step two. And those are going to be thyroid nodule evaluation and also a renal injury, interestingly enough. Okay, those are the highest yield algorithms for you, Simile. Do you guys want me to talk about those algorithms right now? Some of you don't. I could talk about those algorithms, right? I don't know how to make a poll. Some people are like, no, don't talk about those algorithms right now. Just answer my questions. Okay, uh, well, I won't talk about those algorithms right now. The renal injury and uh, evaluation of thyroid nodule are high yield for 2CK. Quasi. Hi, I hope you're well. Fresh out of step one, facing difficulty in surgery, peds, abs guy. Any tips on how to build strong foundation for these subjects? Uh, easy. Well, you're going to have to do QBank, first of all. It's a tetrad. I mean, the same thing for step one and step two, the tetrad being QBank questions in those subjects, my PDFs in those subjects, and then my YouTube playlists in those subjects for the MCQs, and also the CMS forms. Those are the NBME subject specific forms. You'll have to do those, but don't do those first. You got to get through QBank and my PDFs, YouTube MCQs, build foundation before you touch the NBME content. Don't waste the NBME content early. Like do that stuff later. Basile. Thank you. Got my result on Wednesday. And I passed step one after QBank. I did NBMEs and all your PDFs, your high yield arrows on the day before exam helped me a lot. Concepts were fresh during the exams. Goat. Good job, Basile. Happy to hear that. Happy to hear that. Ayesha, is your PDF enough for biostats? I've said biostats, you have to do lots and lots and lots and lots of questions over many months. Biostats, annoyingly, is the most longitudinal subject, meaning like you can't know zero in biostats, study it over three, four days, and then be good. Like biostats is you have to see many questions through QBank over time, get a lot of concepts wrong, do questions. Yes, my PDF, but do questions on the NBME exams. Um, you got to see lots of questions over time and then you just get used to it the what they're getting at so my advice is never save biostats for later i know some students who've done that and i'm like why are you doing that it's a bad fucking idea lovely libra can you do, do a day in the life video what do you mean by that i my, my uh my instagram lives like some of my instagram lives are like you know me skateboarding isn't that like day in the life quote unquote of like what i do kind of thing not really i mean i don't know what you want you want someone following me around with a camera right let's see that would like trigger too many people though if people followed me around with a camera that's not a good idea that wouldn't that wouldn't help this channel let's just put it that way that's not going to help this channel be a lot of people who get very fucking offended and triggered real fucking fast with how I live out my life. Let's see. I don't even have to. I can just be on this channel alone talking about medicine. And I already like trigger people. Let's see. L33. Good to see you. Mozine. Good to see you. Never heard of that. Nor do I care. Genty Gibson. Would you ever visit Scotland? 
We have good whiskey scotch over here. Yeah, I'd visit Scotland. Maybe I'll go in like just in January. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Scotland in January. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Even if I don't remember, even if like, it's not, it's not like I'm going to, I'm not going to Scotland to fucking see you. If it's like one of those things where like we have, you happen to pop up in my live stream and like, you know, December or like you DM me, you're like, yo, I'm that dude or a chick better if you're a chick. Right. But I mean, if you're like, yo, I'm the, I'm the one who told you to go to Scotland and you said you're going there now. Um, I've got a lot of friends in Europe, you know, and I go to Europe every winter. Um, but I haven't been to Scotland. I'd go to Scotland. It'd be great. It'd be fucking great. I mean, you can't go to Scotland unless you're going to drink alcohol. I agree with that. Like, you're not going to, I'm not going to go to Scotland and just look at like green meadows. Like you go to Scotland and you'd have, the plan would have to be, I'm going to be drinking a lot of beer and a lot of like grain alcohol or something like, yes, that's what would have to go down in Scotland. That's like pretty much what would have to go down. Pre-med, studying for step one, hitting around 60 to 64%. Hoping to sit for three weeks in the next three weeks. I feel like I've been stuck at this score, hoping to hit 70%. Three weeks, it's possible. It's just uh it's borderline. I don't like the 60 to 64 percent. You gotta be focusing on the NBMEs the final month. That's the final three weeks. You gotta be focusing on the NBMEs. And I've said you gotta get your three digit score conversions. So if you're getting 205, 210 plus on the NBMEs, that's ideal. 60 60 to 64 percent is not where you need to be. A pass is like 64 65 64 might be a fail on some forms so you're below pass right now so i would normally pull i would want the three to score conversions just to be sure uh as far as the mbmes you've set but i'd probably be pulling you out and postponing your exam if you're forced to sit if you're like no i can't move it it's possible to pass you just have to like get your scores up fucking fast review all the mbme content really efficiently um making Anki of your incorrects, and then you can YOLO across. Camille, you're done with NBMEs 28 through 30, your average 77%. Can't handle reviewing them, so bored. Can I sit the exam without reviewing? No, I think that's stupid. You know, like you're using your 77% as an excuse. You're like, I'm not using an excuse. Okay, but for people who aren't getting high scores, it's a bad idea, okay? You need to be reviewing all the NBMEs. I don't care if you are scoring well. Like 77%, well above pass, but uh, you should be reviewing everything. You're almost done. Like, why are we shortchanging things right now? Why are we going to get complacent? Just review the exams and sit. Afsana, good, good to see you, Muhand. Good to see you. Afsana, hey, Mike, should we have to read all the explanations of UWorld or just educational objectives is enough? Uh, you're going to read all the UWorld explanations, but... You're not going to make Anki. You're not going to um, make annotations. I'm just going to let some other people know that I just started this live stream, which I didn't do. Just letting some peeps know we started the live stream. Um, Georgie, Mike, where can I find answers, explanations for MMEs 1 through 20? Google, uh, there's no explanations for those. There's no explanations. You could use ChatGPT. Like the caveat I issue is that, of course, you have to bear in mind that ChatGPT can be wrong if you don't know an answer. So don't use it to be like, what's the answer? A, B, C, D, E. Don't use it for that. What you want to do is try to find like the answer the best you can elsewhere. You say, okay, I know the answer is D, and then you're going to run that question through ChatGPT, okay? You're going to get uh, ChatGPT's explanation. That's what you're going to do, all right? And you say, I don't understand why B is wrong. Well, it'll explain it for you, literally. That's how you're going to use ChatGPT. You'll get explanations for the NBMAs. Agui music. Will it be stupid for me to just sit? Uh, for, it would be stupid for me to just focus on your PDFs for 2CK. Yeah, it would be stupid because although I'm flattered, uh, you need to be doing QBank, you need to be doing my PDFs, my YouTube MCQs, and also all the CMS and NBME forms. You got to get a high score on 2CK. Propofol, where do you see yourself in 10 years? No idea. And, you know, it, 
as far as the exercise of like talking about where we're we gonna be five, 10 years, stuff like that. I'm 36, okay? Like I'm not super fucking young. So I'm 36 and I know that uh, the reason I don't like uh, delve into questions like that too concretely is because uh, however you think life is going to pan out doesn't happen that way. That's just how it is. Like, I never thought I'd be moving to Australia, living there for seven years. I never thought I'd be moving to East Asia, living here over seven years. So it, it's not just about location necessarily, but other things going on. I mean, you can't plan for those things. That's right, Camille. You retract that fucking message. That's right. You retract that message. Um, quasi. Also a little nervous and jumping straight to UWorld for step two. You're just going to do it, though. You have to start with Cubic. You feel like you're going to get a lot of incorrects, how to overcome this anxiety by just doing it. Muhand, uh, what do you think about recalls? I think they're low IQ. I think that I think people who uh, pay for recalls or get pulled into recalls are low IQ. Because one, people who are passing already uh, are going to have higher IQ anyway. And then the second thing is that you only get scammed when you're looking for shortcuts. That's how it works. It's karmic, okay? That's how life works out. So you only get scammed when you're looking for shortcuts. You wanna know where to find recalls? You want me to tell you guys where you can find recalls? I'm, I'm being dead serious right now. It's called the NVMe exam. So those are recalls. You don't think people have sent me documents? You don't think as a content creator, people DM me like every month saying, Mike, I, uh, I've got some like document that like, it's, it's like secret document. And like, this might help you out with your content. You don't think people DM me with those types of things? And then I take a look at it and they're just like slipshod student notes. And I'm like, okay, it's the same as the NVMe exams. I've talked about this in prior live streams that if there's quote unquote recalls, it's only people who don't know the NVMe exams will think that they're looking at like top secret information where if they just studied the fucking NVMe's that are like free online rather than paying $1,800 to someone in like Pakistan for like recalls, they just did the NBMEs for free online that they can find off like Google. They're the same fucking questions. Okay, I look at these student notes and I'm like, I don't think anything of them because I'm like, well, it's all in the NBMEs anyway. It's the same stuff. The questions repeat objectively and the concepts are all the same. Okay, I'll be looking at notes and it's like, you know, a patient with IBD and they had like an antibody. What was a target answer? TNF alpha. And it's like, OMG. It's like, well, it's on the NBMEs like 10 times. Okay, it's like, um, you know, there's a drug that decreases IL-2 activity, T-cell activation. The answer is like cyclosporin. It's like, well, it's all over the NBME exams. Cyclosporin to chromis cyromis, decrease IL-2 activity, okay, T-cell activity. It's all over the NBME exams. So I look at recalls if people send them to me, and there's nothing special about them because it's just the NBME exams anyway. So it's only, you get scammed. You get scammed when you're looking for shortcuts. Okay, it's not hard to just look, go through NBME exams, write up what you make like slipshod ex, uh, explanations, quote unquote recalls, and then find a bunch of emotional needy students who are praying to pass and then be like, I'll sell you these like recalls for like 600. I'll sell you these recalls for 1800 bucks. And you get a lot of people who get pulled into that nonsense. Okay, that's how it works. It's called the NBME exams, do the work. It's there. It's free. Lovely Libra, thanks for the uh, super chat. For an old grad eight years out, after completing steps one through three, how can they match for residency if they have no recent clinical experience or research? Um, well, you should be taking step three within the year that you're applying. I've said the value of step three is you're finishing, um, you're, you're proving recent competency. Yes. Um, you have to have recent clinical experience. Research doesn't really matter so much. You have to have some recent letter. Like you have to, you have to have a recent letter, right? What are you going to do? Be like this, this doctor liked me nine years ago. Like, what are you going to say? So you have to have something recent. That's actually like more difficult than anything else, I think, is getting like recent letters of some kind. Like, how are you going to do that if you've been out of med school for ages? Unless you've been working. But if you've been practicing as like a doctor in another country, that uh, is a disadvantage in terms of applying to the US. They want fresh grads. You know, they want people who aren't vitiated by other 
um, countries, regimens, and what they do, because people differ in terms of what they do in different countries. Let's see. Scroll back up. Let's see. Marina, hey, first time asking a question. Got 55% of my last comedy, 62 to pass. You think I have a chance after seven weeks to study exam on the 10th? Uh, it's possible, yeah. Yeah, it's possible. 55 to 62, that's possible. I've got fucking students trying to go from like 45 to like 67, <laughs> you know, in like three weeks. Okay, I mean like 55 to 62 is doable. Um, you know, you're a mixed case. Okay. You're, a, you're borderline because you're clearly not passing. So I wouldn't want you on the NBMEs this early. I wouldn't want you burning through the NBMEs, <clears throat> but at the same time, the NBMEs are going to increase your score. So I'd be talking to you about how many passes can you, or how many attempts can you have at the comp? Can you push the comp back? Are they going to kick you out? Right. If you fail this comp. So I'd have to like make a decision as far as what I want you to do. Um, but it's possible to go up seven percentage points in seven weeks. Like that's not, that's not that big of a deal. That's easy. I think, I think seven percentage points, in seven weeks is easy. Seven percentage points in like two weeks is hard. MSI. Yeah. I did your immunology PDF absolute masterpiece. Good. Uh, and I agree with that sentiment. Sarah, examined four days, 75% on the new free 120 good score. It is. <laughs> That's funny. Natik Sharma is like, yes, it is a good score. Yes, it is. Shadi, can you talk about renal injury one, please? Okay. I said renal injury algorithms high yield. Uh, they're going to tell you that there's bruising or pain over a flank. It's 2CK surgery, IM. Okay. It's like they, they'll tell you there's bruising or pain over a flank. 16-year-old was hit with a hockey stick or there's like a car accident. Is bruising or pain over the flank and they want to the algorithm is is there gross blood in the urine if yes so it, does the patient report blood in the urine if yes you're gonna do ct of the abdomen with contrast looking for renal injury sounds fucking wrong you're like wait really you would do contrast ct if there's renal injury doesn't contrast like harm the kidneys i agree with you not my fucking opinion it's what the nbme wants ultrasounds wrong answer okay so gross blood in the urine you do ct with contrast sounds wrong but it's what they want if no gross blood in the urine, you're going to do a urinalysis looking for microscopic blood. If the microscopic blood is there, you're going to do CT of the abdomen with contrast. If it's not there, no further diagnostic studies indicated. So it means that urinary blood, hematuria, is highly sensitive for renal injury. Okay? So if it's not there, we can likely rule out renal injury. It's a high algorithm. Now, I don't obsess over algorithms, as I said. I don't think you should memorize algorithms. It's more that I've seen so many questions on that, on the NBMEs, different variants of that question, that I that's the algorithm I synthesized in my own head based on the NBME exams. That was never something like I specifically looked up. It's just that's based, I've synthesized that. Let's see. Nate Rono, I just purchased your Anki flashcards, Biochem Farm, they're amazing lifesavers. Good. Good, Nate. Thanks for purchasing them. Bork boy. Hi, Mike, question mark. You've been MIA, long time, Bork boy. You were in this live stream, I don't know, like at least a week ago. Uh, lovely Libra, thanks for the super chat, the second super chat, I really appreciate it. Can someone working as a medical scribe or medical assistant help count as recent clinical experience? The answer is yes. Your sense of humor, though, you're funny. Uh, um, you just need a letter. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, if you're in a situation where you've been out of med school for a while, you know, like, you're going to have to get letters. So you, what, do you, what choice do you have at this point? Because your alternative is what? Are you going to get a job, like, doing something else? Like, what? I mean, what are you going to do? So you just got to get letters. Um, Ibrahim, you took, you took a old free one twenty seventy seven point five percent Is that a good score? It is a good score. What's going on, Carson? Thanks for being a member, Carson. I know you're a member because you're green. Everyone else is gray. Pre-Med asks, wish I would have found you earlier instead of listening to my school's academic advisor. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That, that, that happens a lot. That's like sort of a universal thing. I get that a lot. 
you know, you get a lot of people recommending like, you know, cuck resources. Mubashar, hey Mike, how much does a uh, one month break affect your score? I was at, the, I, it's not a good thing. You're at the end of prep, took one month break. How many more months do I need? Question mark. It depends on where your scores are. You know, if you were significantly above pass, it's less detrimental having a break in your momentum of one month. If you're borderline, not a good situation. You'd have to take uh, another NBME exam. Maybe that one that you haven't sat already. We'd see where you are. Workway, how can we master the Michaelis Menton graph? It's low yield. Just look at the graph. Google it. Go to ChatGPT and be like, can you explain the Michaelis Menton graph like very simply for me? Or like Google image it or something. And then find like someone where they did like a presentation for like, I don't know, their fucking undergrad, some like sophomore in college where you look at their like random like PowerPoint slides or something. And you're like, well, this is helping me. And that's how it works then, right? You just look at it. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? Cigar Patel, what's going on? Lovely Libra, your sense of humor, you have always been blunt, sarcastic, funny. Work boy, where can I buy your Anki flashcards? On my website, melmanmedical.com. Did you know I have a website, Bork Boy? Did you know that, like, I have, did you know that I have a website that has PDFs on it, modules on it? Did you know that? Some people, like, don't know that, I guess. Floors Channel asks, hey, Doc, nice to see you, and thank you for all this info. I'm taking my step one in a year or more, start my preparation today. I wanted to print your PDFs, but I wonder if you update them over time or can just print them. You can just print them all right now. I haven't updated them since April. It's because of lack of interest. In the fall, I'll get into more of that stuff, maybe. FMW, good to see you. Christian Angulo, good to see you back. Hey, Mike, how important it's psych for step, for maybe step one? I mean, you got to know basic psych. You find the URL question so annoying for this topic. Well, nobody, who likes psych? Psych is incredibly boring. Like, who would want to look at psych? I agree with you on that. And my PDF, my, my psych PDF is lacking. And people have said that to me and I'm like, well, I know it's because I don't have interest in like, like, what do you think I'm going to do? Sit in my room in fucking Japan for like two weeks, updating a psych PDF for fun. Like no fucking interest. It's literally, I'd rather like, uh, uh, there's a lot of things in this world. Let's, I could make a list of a thousand things in this world I could do. It's not on the list. Just put it that way. Let's see. Someone would have to send me like a Bitcoin or something. Someone's like, we'll send you a Bitcoin and you, and you have to have a psych PDF updated by like, you know, August 10th or something, I would like maybe, actually, I wouldn't even do that. I wouldn't do that. Um, I do it for five Bitcoin. Jinty Gibson, if you visit Scotland, go to Edinburgh. The pubs are great. Beer, whiskey. Avoid Glasgow. Um, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, if, I would still go, I would go anywhere in Scotland. I don't really care. I'm sure I'd have a great time in Glasgow, right? Isn't it the same thing? You just find a pub and you get like fucking ripped off beer, right? Beer, whiskey. I mean, what difference does it make? Like, um, I like small town type stuff. I like small town type stuff. I mean, I know Glasgow is not small necessarily, but like, um, Jinty also in the 19th century, Edinburgh was a good social, it's a global center of learning and teaching about human anatomy and medicine. Okay. Angela, good to see you. Georgie, thanks. I couldn't find answers in Google though. Dimitri Kovtun, do you know, is it hard to apply in psych residency in the USA? It's not, it's um, past level. Uh, or what should I have? Good LOR, for example. Everyone should have good OLRs because you work as a psychiatrist and would like to take a residency in this field. We'll just get a decent enough 2CK score and then apply. Hey, Mike, resources are the best. Cheers. Thanks, Angela. Nishat, what's up? Taking the exam. I don't like that you're like an anonymous. I'd appreciate, I, I, for some reason, I wish you even had just like a stupid username. I don't like addressing like blank users. Taking the exam while working full time, exam in five to six months. I score badly in UWorld, 60 to 70 is UWorld. 
uh, just learning tool, or should I be concerned? I don't care what you're scoring in Uron. Uh, 60 to 70 is good for Uron. That's good. Uh, just use it as a learning tool. Uh, John's Med, scoring 70% on average on MBMEs. Have my exam in a month. Should I take it? 70s are good. Emboss, random blocks, average. I don't care where you're scoring in Emboss. You say 60 70%. That's good. Uh, blank username. Our CMS tools for assessment or learning, they're just for uh, learning, not for assessment. Is it okay to do a 40 50 offline? Yeah, you can do all of them offline. Dimitri, and by the way, how to become a green subscriber? You just get a member, you become a member to my channel. You're just the first person I want to subscribe. You have to become a member to my channel. It's like $2, not even. I think it's like $1.99 if you want to be like a bronze member of my channel. Um, someone actually like DM'd me like not too long ago and was like, do I get any perks for being like a member of your YouTube channel? And I was like, not, I was like, not really, no. I was like, it's just like support. And they're like, oh, okay. Like, I was just wondering, like, I won't become a member of them. And I was like, all right, get the fuck out of here. It's like, I don't need your fucking like $2 membership. Um, Guanasho. Hey, Mike, my score uh, decent earlier, like 68 to 70%, but now decreasing a lot from the past few days. Continuously exam. Soon, step one, what should I do? Um, I'd want to just see your NVMEs, where you're scoring. I'd want the dates of your NVMEs, the exact scores on them. That's what I want to be looking at. Where do we find the free NVME, you're asking? Uh, online, our Telegram group. Nate, where did you purchase Mike's Anki flashcards all in capital letters? It's called my website. I already answered that question. Nita, good to see you. Step one, fail. NBMEs were 55 to 68%. UWorld, 39%. First pass, free 120, 65%. Okay. Did you have a question with that or what? Was there a question or was it just like, what? what? Okay. So you should be doing like, you're going to have to do another pass. I don't have view world uh, for, I say not another pass, uh, a month of incorrects from view world at least. And my PDFs, my YouTube MCQs. And then we can have you sit on maybe 20 and see where you are. Angela, his decks are available for purchase on the website. They're badass decks must get. I agree with that sentiment. Muhammad Ali. Well, few meta analyses, research papers look good on my application. No one cares. Okay. Like it's about impact. Uh, people who actually do research aren't stupid. They know that like your 24 bullshit papers that you got during your master's because your advisor was easy. They know like um, some people just have it easier. They don't do jack shit. Whereas someone else, you maybe you're a second author on a paper that has high impact. And that actually means a lot more in your lab. It was difficult to get papers wherever you were. Um, so they really... They're not fooled. People are actually in research. You know, you don't think they've been around the block. You don't think they have fucking people in their sphere who are bullshit getting like, you know, uh, some easy publications. So they will, uh, they'll look at like, where was it published? And uh, they'll try to ascertain impact. But none of that is more important than your scores. Like they're still going to look at your 2CK score, your uh, class rank. Uh, lovely Libra. Thanks again for the super chat. Nate Rona. Bork boy. Dr. Devi. Doing your PDF still lows in New World literally less than 50. I am just so pissed. How should I improve my PDFs? My YouTube MCQs. Rest and relaxation asks, hey, Dr. Mike, could you please go over increase, decrease pulmonary vascular resistance? Uh, what do you want to know? It's a long topic. Like, what do you want to know about that? What do you want to know? It's like saying, Mike, can you, can you like discuss like, I don't know, hypertrophy of the heart? It's like, what do you want to know? I mean, I could go on a long discussion about it. You guys should know what Bocentin is. That's a high yield drug. Endothalin one receptor antagonist. Endothalin is a vasoconstrictor, exceedingly high yield for pulmonary hypertension. Okay. You can, you can see an increase in left heart failure too. Okay. Endothalin. And endothalin isn't limited to the lungs. There's a question where like a dude cuts his neck and then he's bleeding. And the answer was like increased endothalin at the site of injury. So it's not just limited to the pulmonary vessels as well. 
uh, Sebastian. Are pharmacokinetic equations low yield? Yes, they're exceedingly low yield. They show up on the MME exams, of course. You know, when you do the MMEs, you'll see them, but it's pass fail exams, so you don't have to obsess. Agui Music, do you have a video on how to read and answer questions? I have 1,200 plus videos on my YouTube. You're a slow reader, and I always run out of time. Okay, well, I have videos all over my YouTube on this stuff. Um, I've said that for uh, long questions going backwards is, is what you want to do. Okay, so you can glance at the answer choices. What kind of question do you have? Glance at the last couple lines. You can sometimes get the answer from that. Glance at the lab values. Okay, is an aldosterone question, a renal question, crowning, uh, bionic crowning ratio. So what kind of question is a, a urinary osmolality serum sodium question for SID, HDI, secretary polydipsia? So you want to know what kind of question you have, and you can go backwards to sometimes get the answer that way. Glance around at the question, like a wordless collage all around it. If you still can't get the answer, start at the beginning. So you go backwards through long questions. Ashada, then you have some related, to, related topics in gym. Um, what else do I put my, I just lost the question. Um, I literally lost the question. Uh, other than you have some related, related topics in gym, what else do you like to put your spare time into? Is that a troll or what? Are you trying to have me trigger people in the group? Is that in the live stream? Is that what you're trying to get at? Is that what you want me to go down? Is that the route you want me to do right now? To talk about my hobbies? Is that what you want me to get into? Right? Um, I mean, I've said I have unconventional hobbies. Dr. Debbie, I am consistent with you all doing 40 questions per day, reviewing, going through your PDFs then. Uh, but you all just upsetting me, don't know what to do, exam in three months. Um, okay. Well, you got to finish you world and then you got to be on the NBME exams starting a month before your USMLE. Medical USA, what does the general principles indicator on NBME mean? It's in my belief that it means pathophysiology mainly, meaning they'll ask you any disease and you got to be in, you got to be able to answer just questions about it. Any disease. Okay. Duchenne, CF. Okay. Marfan syndrome, hereditary serocytosis, SLE, von Willebrand versus ITP versus hemophilia versus DIC. Like you got to be able to, it, it, I can name any condition and you got to be able to answer questions based on it. Like, what do you see on a smear? What's the mechanism for it? Right? Like what's the, you know, the protein, what's its normal function or something like you got to be able to answer those questions. Those are general principles in my view. It's probably what it refers to. Um, Mike, what to do in the last week before step two CK exam and maybe scores two forties asking for a friend. Um, you should, in the last week, it should be reviewing, like, basically, NBME's 12 through 14. Nabil, your big motivation, sir. Camille, any tip from where to memorize childhood milestones, or should I? Always getting them wrong. Um, I talk about them in my pediatrics PDF, I'm fairly sure. <laughs> Nakia, Mike, is the structure of viruses high yield, such as enveloped, negative versus positive sense, linear, et cetera? Oh, and I watched Pulp Fiction, thought about you. Uh, the answer, well, Pulp Fiction, great, great movie. Um, it's not high yield, but there are certain things you need to know. Like there's very few details. I've talked about this in my micro MCQs. There's very few details you need to know uh, for viral structures. You need to know the structure of herpes versus hep B, okay? So they're both DNA viruses, okay? Uh, they're both enveloped. So, and you need to know that uh, hepatitis B is circular. All right, so they're both double-stranded, but hepatitis B is circular, whereas herpes viridae, linear. Okay, so that's high yield. You have to know rotavirus is RNA, double-stranded, segmented. Influenza also segmented, but that's single-stranded RNA. That might sound very like nitpicky, but that's like it. That's literally it. Like you don't have to memorize all the viruses and all their structures. Like that is literally the extent of it. So what they'll do is show you like a picture of herpes labialis and you're like, well, obviously that's herpes. And then the answer will be like DNA enveloped linear. Choice B, correct. Choice A, DNA enveloped circular, wrong answer. That's hepatitis B. 
you also need to know rotavirus has a wheel structure. That's on one of the MMA exams. It's a wheel structure, double-stranded. They say just like diarrhea, like watery diarrhea in a young kid, and there's a virus that's a wheel structure, and the answer is double-stranded RNA, segmented. Let's see. Bazold. What's going on, Bazold? Uh, no username asks me and my group all from Germany studied your method all scored 265 plus in CK even the lazy ones in our group uh, partied and scored 250 okay that's good news Nate Rono is it true that matching orthopedic surgery is difficult for an IMG the answer is yes how do you increase the chances by getting a high 2CK score and having a high class rank um, thanks dude Username, you're the best dude. Syed, Ahmed, what's going on? Thanks for all the helping guidance. Dr. Vishnu, how many months is ideal to go through your world for step two CK? The answer is two months. Giovanni, uh, let's see. Hey, Dr. Mike, exam is next week. Would you recommend I take two days off before the exam or should I do the new free 120? I did the old one and I've done 2031. My score has been 65 to 71. Uh, you could take the, if, if it's going to like make you emotional, you can do it. I don't really care. I just don't want you to be like stressed where you're like studying too hard right before your exam. The day before should be a light day. Dimitri Kovtun. Yeah, I understand that membership gives no priority. I just want to say thanks that way. Thanks. Well, you're still not a member though, because you're still gray. Yeah, you're still gray. You're not a member. So people have a big fucking mouth. They're like, I want to be a member. Well, you're not a fucking member. I can see. Nita, thank you for your tips. All right. Bazold, I wish you could at some point pay a visit to India. Especially my state colleges, the medicos here aren't that aware about US and only the possibility of perks of pursuing. I, I mean, I'm not gonna go to India to fucking do a speech about US and only. That's not what I'm gonna do. If they want to pay me like, I don't know, eighty thousand dollars or something, I'll do it. It's not really like what I would go to India for. Um Bashar, my last NBME was at 80% with my baseline at 65% three months ago. How to proceed? Um, that's high. I'd have to know the exact dates of your NBMEs. Uh, I'd want to know the exact dates and what you scored. Could you could you please explain the mechanism of PFOX inhibitors and IHD? The answer is no. Dimitri Kovtun, because I thought preparation for step one would take 1.5 years. Now I'm going to take step one in October. It took seven months preparing because I started preparation from bad resources. Um, okay. I mean, the role of fatty acid oxidation in myocardium. What are you asking me? It's not you, Assimilia, whatever you're asking me. Um, JML. Hello, doctor. UWSA 226, this is my first exam, 80% you will done. Um, is it okay, question mark? UWSA is less slash more difficult than NBME, question mark. I'd say U World is more difficult than NBME, not less difficult. U World, KeyBank has more gotcha questions, more difficult. Um, I don't prescribe UWSAs. I wouldn't recommend that people do them necessarily. You gotta get through the NBME content. Kevin C, MME 9, 225, 10, 220. Any other tips besides finish MBMEs, free 120, question mark? Can't push test back. Um, well, I'd want to know when your test is. Um, finish MBMEs. And, well, you got to be doing the CMS forms as well. I'd want you to have finished two passes of the CMS forms. Nishat, to be honest, a bit confused. I had no ill intentions with my question about what you do other than US Simulian gym, but I guess according to your reaction, it would have been better not to ask. I don't give a fuck. Like, why are we getting emotional right now? Um, people are like offended. Like people are like, Mike, you were like rude to me. I'm like offended. Marion Paso, hello. Good to see you, Marion. Bashar, last one, I made me 26 was less than a week ago, okay. Miriam, I come to I come I enjoy to come here every day in my lunch break. Thank you for everything. Hey, Mike, I fucked up. CK scored two forty nine. Is general surgery still possible? The answer is yes. 
as a nine US IMG, but with good context. 249 is strong score. Bezeld, okay, sir, we'll pay you $100,000, but please pay a visit sometime. Well, I will for 100K. If you wanna, if you wanna do that, DM me on Instagram um, and we can arrange that. Juan Carlos, what's your opinion on the COVID vaccine being dangerous? Uh, I think that is probably not true. I don't really, I don't really care. There's no opinion. I, I have zero interest in the politics around like vaccination versus no vaccination. I think it's a dumb topic. Uh, I got vaccinated three times because I travel international and I needed to get a vaccine passport. I'm so over the COVID stuff here in Japan. You get like a third of people are still masked. Like I go out on the street and there's like plenty of people still masked. And I just think it's incredibly low IQ. It's like, why are you masked? At this point, it's just been exposed as like, I called it from the beginning. I knew like from the beginning, like people just wear masks because they they want to live in fear. It has nothing to do with uh, being afraid of COVID. It's just, they want an excuse to like live in fear and be reclusive. They want to be insular into themselves. I knew that from the beginning. And here in Japan, you still get people wearing masks. Like it's fucking hot summer, humid day. They're like biking, wearing masks. It's like, why the fuck are you wearing a mask? It's the dumbest thing like imaginable. It pisses me off. Cause I think it's a negative for society. Like society can't move forward and just like progress. It's like, people are still like, I'm gonna wear my little mask. Um, test in two weeks and all I did was the CMS two times, Kevin. FAIQ, off top, sir, how are we going to go through micro, lots of fungi, virus, et cetera, et cetera? I mean, I have micro PowerPoints on my um, my YouTube. Go to the go to the playlist. Uh, and I have YouTube uh, PowerPoints, so like 45 minutes on micro. Hyoderm is loaded with micro. My GI PDF, my gastro PDF is loaded with micro. Okay. It's a lot of GI micros. Um, Reminemi, I'm going to end this live stream pretty soon because there's no more questions. Reminemi, how many months go through your world for step one? It's uh, two months and then it's just one month for the MME, so three months for step one prep. FAIQ and how do, how do we confront ourselves because I study and can't uh, contain myself? I don't know. Please help. I don't know what you're asking me right now. I don't know what you're asking. How do we comfort ourselves? I read that as contain ourselves. How do we comfort ourselves? Uh, I've said you have to, to avert burnout, you can go to the gym daily. That's really important. You need to have a workout routine. You need to go to the gym daily. If you're not going to the gym, you're lazy. You have problems. Okay, I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I don't mean to offend you, but it's like, if, if you are if you consider yourself, if you don't go to the gym uh, like four or five days a week, I don't care how busy you are, you're lazy. You have problems. You need to like, you know, have a physical lifestyle and like actually keep yourself fit. And then you're going to find your psychological health uh, improves as well. Roberto Sanchez, what's going on? Good to see you. Camille, should we, should I do content review besides reviewing NBMEs in the last two weeks? Uh, I pretty much just want you reviewing NBMEs in the final two weeks. That's what I want you to do. Um, content review as far as my PDFs, the Kyle Arrows, cardio palm, renal gastro. Like, yeah, I'm flattered if you go through my PDFs, but like, we got to make sure that you know the NBME content. Like, I don't want it to be where you're only going through my PDFs, like the final weeks, and you're neglecting the NBME content. Like, you have to make sure that you, um, you get through all the NBME stuff. Angela, 100% gym is essential. It is. That's what I'm going to do after this, actually. I'm going to have a, a big gym workout. All right, guys, that ends the live stream. There's no more questions. I'm not going to do this just for my own entertainment. I'm here to answer your questions, office hours. And in uh, August, there's going to be fewer live streams letting you guys know that. So you've been kind of like spoiled by a daily live stream. I'm not gonna be doing live streams uh, through August because I'm traveling and I'm busy, um, but that's how it works. Well, I mean, it's what it is. All right, I'll do some, but not like, it's not gonna be daily like this. All right, guys. I'm headed to, uh, I'm headed to New York. First week of August, first like 10 days of August, I'll be in New York. Then I'm in Australia the last uh, week of August. <laughs> Laughable. So you asked a question, you stepped out. So 
So in other words, what you're saying, Bork Boy, is that you wasted my fucking time. You wasted my time and you wasted other people's time in the live stream is what you're saying right now. Because you asked a question. You said you stepped out. Well, the live stream, when I'm done, it's going to go to my YouTube and you can watch, if you want, you can watch the live stream again where I addressed your question on Michaelis Mentengraf. Go to San Diego when you go to... Uh, well, I might because I've got... Um, my sister lives in SoCal. I'm, I am going to SoCal. That's like, I am going to SoCal in uh, in August because my sister's there. So I will see my sister at a minimum in SoCal. I'm not going to like dox her location. I'm not going to say like exactly where my sister is on like a live stream. But like, I got a, I've got a family in SoCal. Um... That's laughable. Like you're in my fucking live stream and you're talking about studying first aid. It's like, try my PDFs, bro. I've had people like I tutor who like pay me for tutoring, pay me for tutoring, not cheap. And they're like telling, I'm trying to get them to go through my PDFs. And they're like, but I'm reading like first aid. I'm like, you're fucking paying me. And like, you're, you want to go through first aid. Don't take my fucking advice. No worries. Pay me, but don't take my advice. I get people like that. Not a joke. Not a joke. It's like you're in my live stream. You're like talking about first aid. It's like, well, have you tried my PDFs? Best clean protein shake. Well, uh, Japan has like the brand I have. Um, I don't think exists. I'm pretty sure it's in the United States. It's called Valx. V A L X. Um, they have a really good uh, tofu flavored, like sweet tofu like a dessert tofu flavored protein. You have to have it with milk. I have it with like a high protein skim milk. Not skim milk, but low fat, like high protein milk. Camille, beautiful morning. Sounds good on the live stream. Failed my step one recently, I lost motivation. I'm an IMG, five years, year of grad. Still want to continue studying step one. I want to do residency, but I'm am I delusional? Uh, you're not delusional. You can do the residency. Uh, you would have to take step three, though, the year you apply. Beautiful morning. You'd have to finish the US simile sequence and sit step three the year you apply. Because if you're far out from graduation, you have to demonstrate recent competency. You can't have it where you graduated seven years ago and your last US simile was like four years ago. You can't have that. You got They got to look at your application and say, oh, she's an old grad. But she, oh, she has a step three score from this year, from like five months ago. That's great. That's like, that's what you got to do. Mustafa, why New York? Because I have family in New York. Raj Matthew, what's up, Mike? Shavo, do your pre-lecture notes on internal medicine or we join include everything? Everything? I mean, I talk about high yield stuff. Internal medicine is like a very extensive. It's all of medicine, literally. OBGYN, very nitpicky stuff. I talk about high yield stuff. Okay. It's not everything, but it's high yield stuff. Gets you like many points. FAIQ, love your PDFs. Always got your PDFs. So best. Um, You at Pin Pin, you came into my last slide. This is like laughable. You did the same thing Bork Boy did. Bork Boy asked a question, left the live stream, came back, asked what my answer was. I'd already addressed it. Pin Pin, I already answered that question in a prior live stream because that's the only thing, that was your only contribution in a prior live stream. You came in, you're like, what, what's your view on nootropics? And then you must have left because you didn't hear my answer. Lovely Libra, how many months to prep for step three? The answer is two months. <laughs> give tips about USMLE. Mike, give tips about cardio. Give tips about like renal for step one. What tips do you have for USMLE? Beautiful morning. I studied your PDFs, but not all due to time crunch. Next time going to step one. Uh, how many times I need to review your PDFs and all of them? At least one to three, right? 
it's like you got to get through a pass of the PDFs. That's ideal. Um, some people are going to do more than one pass, right? Cardiopulmonary gastro hematology, very excellent PDFs for you to go through in a time crunch. High out arrows, essential. Benoit, good to see you back. Been gone a while because of studying. Does eight hour, eight hours a day during Q bank stage sound okay? That sounds okay. It should take you eight hours to get through eighty questions. You could do four hours for forty questions in the morning, have lunch, and then do my YouTube MCQs PDFs in the afternoon. Could you give some tips for FAIQ? Could you use, give some tips for physiology? The answer is high yield arrows. And also my playlist and physiology on the YouTube. That's what I want you to do. So physiology playlist on my YouTube. Okay. And you're going to do my high yield arrows PDF. There's a lot of physio in there. Does a step three, does a step three score matter for fellowships? I imagine it does, but probably not like a crazy amount. Cause like they just care about your training at that point. That's pretty much what it is. Like, what the fuck do they care about? Like some MCQ exam when you've done like four years surgery and now you're applying into like a fellowship. It's like, what matters more? How you did on like step three MCQ or like how you actually performed as a fucking surgeon in a hospital during your training for four years in residency or five years in residency, right? So it's like, I doubt it would be monumental. I doubt they'd even care. It would be very much like letters based um, at that point. But step three matters, I said, if you've uh, been out of med school for a while, uh, over two years, two to three years, and you're applying into the match, then having a step three score will show recent competency. How should I be scoring, Sarah? How should I be scoring on the free 120 a couple of days before writing step? At least 70%. Two thirds plus is like pass, but like 70% plus is safer. Giovanni. I was going to end this fucking live stream. Now there's more questions. Mike, I was so I was diagnosed with paroxysmal AFib at 28 years old. And Doc said it's nothing to worry about since it happens so rarely. Do you think I should have beta blockers? Uh, your doctor is going to know the specifics of like your situation. You know what I mean? So like occasionally, occasionally, someone can get like an episode of AF when they're younger. It can happen. I would ask if you've been taking TRT or growth hormone. Are you one of those dudes who lives in fucking Miami where you're fucking, you drive a sports car, you do jujitsu and you take TRT and growth hormone. Did you get an AFib? You're like, no, I'm some chick who lives in fucking like Poland or something. It's like, okay, well, I've been to Poland. I've been in the gyms there. I mean, um, you would go with your doctor's input based on that. It's not mandatory. Like the management is going to be, um, you know, based on a, a numerous factors. Shit freaks you out, sends you into a panic attack. Well, not what we need. We don't need a panic attack, right? On top of like your AFib already. But no, you've been listening to my questions on Spotify in the gym while lifting like you recommended. Ha ha. Good. What about the YouTube? You don't listen to them on YouTube? I'd rather you like boost my YouTube, truthfully. Like if you're just going to listen to them, you're like, well, they're in my pocket. I'm not like, I'd rather you just boost my YouTube, get more view time on my YouTube. That would help me more actually. Uh, Sean Jayesh, I failed comp CBSC four times, passed fifth time and then passed step one on the first try. I also transferred between Caribbean med schools. Will this be detrimental to my chances? You are so fucking lucky you got through, dude. You know how many students I like encounter that like they get kicked out after like three passes, three attempts or something? Like that's really fortunate that you were able to uh, get a fifth chance and then you're also able to transfer, get through. And I mean, that's really good that you're able to pass step one. It's good. They don't give a fuck about comp uh, residencies. They don't give a fuck. They're going to see the pass on step one. And you're just like everyone else. You just got to get a strong 2CK score and then you can apply a match like anyone else. You, you, like your history of comp doesn't matter. FAIQ, Mike, for real, I really appreciate your effort. Like you're a really blessed man. Love you.
Mike, how to get on that table again and study for step one, which I thought I am done with and ended up studying the same stuff. I too not able to go out of my room lying on my bed. Uh, I would study like at a cafe or something that would help you get stuff done. Like if you're trying to study at home, you're often not going to get work done. Like people will just start procrastinating while they're at home. So I'd recommend like doing work out somewhere, cafe. Guys, give the video a like for coming to the live stream. Palavi, hi Mike, I'm scoring 40% in your world. Does this mean I have less chance of passing? The answer is yes, we want you in the 60s. Chabot, are your high yield notes the same as your high yield pre-lecture notes in audio for intro medicine? No, they're not the same. Okay. But no, you mentioned Anki was better for long prep times, like 12 months. But is there utility in doing just a few? I don't know what you're talking about right now. I said if if you if you're talking about long prep time, like 12 months, I think what you what you're referring to is like I said if you're very very far out from your exam, it doesn't matter whether you're doing Anki or not. But I've said that if you're going through QBank and you're approaching your USMLE, I don't want you doing Anki. Uh, what I want Anki used for is for screenshotting your incorrects from the MBME exams and reviewing them that way. Um, that's good, Giovanni. Because young dudes who like get AFib, I mean, I would ask if they've been taking growth hormone and TRT. Growth hormone enlarges your heart, so it increases risk of arrhythmia. TRT fucks with your vessels. It's two months, of, and, and it causes hypertrophy as well, because you're going to get put on mass that's unnatural for your, your size, and it it requires heart, uh, more uh, strength of the myocardium to pump to more muscle, and that causes hypertrophy. Like, there's a reason why, like, dudes aren't walking around, like, you know, hyper fucking jacked naturally. It's like it takes TRT to get there. The heart's not prepared to pump to that much mass. It's not able to do that. Let's see. Lovely Libras, two months of US clinical experience in steps one, two, three, enough to match for residency. Uh, when you're eight plus years out, do you, or do we need years of experience? You don't need years of experience. You just need your US MLE scores and uh, you just need letters, as I said. I wouldn't fixate on the amount of clinical experience. You just need letters. Just get someone to write your fucking letter, your two, three letters. And then apply broadly. Don't have entitlement. Apply into transitional years and prelim years, like one year programs. Don't just a, a mistake would be to only apply into four year programs. Krishna, NBME 22, you got 75 wrong. Uh, it's just in a CBSC score of 205. So you could have one month out. Uh, 75 wrong is like borderline, it's not bad. Uh, but you could push to the NVMEs and see how your other scores are. I want to see 205, 210 plus equivalent before you sit. Propofol, what are your thoughts on anabolic steroids? I've talked about this a lot in my live streams. I've said that um, it's a bad idea to take TRT. I would never do that. Talked about it, okay? I mean, I've said I've, the analogy I've used is a candle that burns bright but uh, shorter versus uh, a candle that is more a, a, a more sustained burn. That's not as bright, but it's a more sustained burn. If you take steroids as a dude, uh, you're chopping years off your life. It accelerates your atherosclerosis and your calcium score. Okay. I've seen people who've done this stuff. Their lipids are fucking bad. You don't have to be super physiologic. There'll be guys who take TRT and they're like, well, it's just the higher end of the physiologic range. It's not super physiologic. My, my testosterone is like 1100, you know, like 1200 being like upper end of normal apparently. And they're like, it's not super physiologic, but meanwhile, they have shitty HDL, they have high LDL, they have high TGAs. And then on gadolinium MRI of the heart, they've got a shitty calcium score. It's basically coronary arteries of like a person in their 60s while they're in their 30s. I mean, wouldn't it be great to be fucking hyper jacked as like 20s and in your 20s and 30s, right? Wouldn't that be fucking great? Take steroids, be like, I'm fucking crazy jacked. Holy shit. That'd be great, right? Pick up extra chicks, be fucking awesome. 
but don't want to have an MI when I'm like, what, 54? I don't want to have an MI when I'm like 57. So I'd rather just like, you know, if you're lucky, you know, someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like who's like in their seventies, that's like rare. Like, how does that happen? You know, that's like rare. Uh, maybe he would li have lived to like a hundred. We don't know. Okay. But it's uh, you know, a lot of people who chop years off their life uh, taking TRT. You can't have your cake and eat it too with the gender hormones. You can't have your cake and eat it too. As I said, as a dude, you'll be jacked in your 20s and 30s. Cool. But you're chopping years off your life. Have an MI when you're 58. If you're a chick and you want to take like, you know, HRT, the reason we don't recommend it, the reason it's only for severe vasomotor symptoms like hot flashes, et cetera, is because it causes breast cancer and it increases the risk of uh, stroke and MI and DVT. Wouldn't it be great to be postmenopausal and feel young and have high estrogen levels? Wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that feel amazing? You could take it with progesterone. Wouldn't increase the risk of endometrial cancer, but it increases the risk of breast cancer. Preserve your bone density, but increase the risk of breast cancer. As I said, thrombosis, MI, stroke. Estrogen upregulates uh, fibrinogen and factors five and eight. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. So I think people who do uh, TRT. It's because they live in an environment like Miami where they feel it's there's a high degree of competition. Uh, it's like sexual market value competition where if every fucking dude is like has uh, tattoos and is like steroid jacked and has a sports car and does jujitsu, then if you're just like a normal fucking dude who doesn't do TRT, doesn't have a sports car, doesn't have tattoos, doesn't do jujitsu, all of a sudden you feel like you're at some disadvantage. And you're like, I got to do TRT now. And as a dude, why would you want to like shrink your fucking testes? Like that's a bad fucking low IQ thing to do. Like if you don't care and you're like, I'm going to get a vasectomy. Like if you don't care and you don't care about having kids or whatever, I mean, like go for it, you know, and none of this HCG nonsense where you say, well, you take HCG at the same time and that keeps your testes going. It's like, mm, not really. I wouldn't trust that. I'd be like, nah, I don't really think, I don't think so. Like, I'm not like, nah, I'm good. Like, I'm not going to do that. You know, it's like, uh, let's see here. Where, I don't even know where I was reading. Um, Carson, beautiful morning. How many months will it take to prepare? Again, reattempt. But no, I, all right, we'll watch your vids on YouTube instead. Need Anki, I'll stick to the Tetrad. Uh, back to you, world, for me. Catch you next time. Beautiful morning. Um, mm, it's laughable. Harvard. Oh my God, Harvard. There's a Harvard one year program. I mean, steal your money. They don't care. You're, it's not fooling anybody. You could get a letter. If, if you need letters, like you're, you're starving for letters, you don't have them, you can pay them. And then you can get into like the program, but it's like, no one's, no one thinks you, you're like a genius. Cause you do like a Harvard extension school or like some observership there where you pay like four grand for a month. I mean, people aren't disillusioned. It's like, you know, it's a money-making scheme. I don't think it'll boost the CV. I think it'll just get you your letter that you need. People know how these things work. Philip Arnold had multiple MIs, I think. Well, he's still alive, and he's like, isn't he? He's like late seventies, isn't he? It's like on. It's it's like he's beaten probability. He he's like defeated probability because he's he's not a small fucking dude. Uh, and he's he did steroids, like massive amounts of steroids. Like he should have had like MIs, like like passed away from MIs like decades ago. But I mean, good for him that he's like managed to stay alive. Why don't people add statins and fibrates to their steroid regimen? Would pro possibly mitigate the atherosclerosis levels? Uh, I don't, it's not really, it's not, it's, I think it's just different pathways you're talking about. It's not the same. It's not as simple as just like LDL level or having like a, I mean, you're, first of all, you're, it's polypharmacy. You're just, uh, you're, you're venturing down a territory you don't really want to go down. It's like somebody taking like, um, desmopressin or something and you're like just give them demiclocycline will just cause insensitivity at their kidneys that'll cancel out the effects of the desmopressin they're taking just like give one drug that cancels out another kind of thing you don't really want to go into that territory 
Um, but the pathways, like the upregulated molecules are different. It's not just atherosclerosis level, like androgens actually have a detrimental effect on uh, coronary plaque maturation. Like the, it increases uh, maturation of coronary plaques. Okay. I don't think it's just strictly like, I know I said the lipids are poor, um, but it's also beyond that. That's what it is. Rutuja. Hello, Dr. Mike. Is it necessary to go through the entire U World Q Bank? Is there? I do want you to go through the entire Q Bank. Uh, there's no time crunch. Just get through the whole Q Bank. 40, 80 questions a day. Hey, Mike, are you doing, hope you're doing great. I'm wondering what your explanation for someone who got 250 plus almost the MDMEs and then the real deal, he got like 220. Thank you a lot. Uh, it's rare. It's rare. Maybe they had one score that was like super low. It's rare. There's usually a catch. It's very rare. What's a good 2CK score for family med residency? Uh, just pass the No, it's not. It's not safe for cardiovascular disease. I mean, I'm aware of like different studies out there who have like that have like opined. It's like, oh, uh, testosterone's bad. And that was like based on like two articles that said X. Uh, but actually, research has shown this. It's nonsense. Okay. You can't have your cake and eat it too can't have your cake and eat it too. Like humans have evolved their hormonal patterns for a fucking reason. Like male testosterone peaks like in the, the 20s, okay? And then it starts to decline. And the reason is because, you know, the, the body over time, like having high testosterone levels has adverse effects on the body for a long period of time. But estrogen likewise, I mean, women, um, wouldn't it be great to maintain their estrogen levels postmenopausal? Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't it be awesome? Feel young again and everything. Preserve your bone density. But breast cancer, DVT, stroke, MI. Is red wine really healthy for you? Small amounts of alcohol are considered healthy. Very small amounts. You're talking about like the polyphenols and resveratrol and stuff. I mean, that stuff's healthy, yes. A uh, small amount. I think the amount that would be considered like healthy would be like half a glass of wine, maybe. That's like it. Because so they say one drink in women, two drinks in men, maximum. Alcohol also just has cancer risk. It ages you. You know, it, it alcohol ages you. But it's it's good for your cardiovascular system in very, very, very small amounts. How many months do you think it'll take for a reattempt to step one? I'd have to sit down with you and evaluate your situation. One to two months, maybe. Okay, propofol. I'm just saying in general terms, though. I just think fucking with male hormones in general, it's not a good idea. Thanks, beautiful morning. Um... I don't really read into it so hyper specific. Like I've watched various lectures online. I went through various articles. Like what I was able to overall gather, because you can get mixed info. You can find articles to support. No, testosterone isn't bad for you. It's not. You know, then you can find articles that say it is bad. Okay. And there's presentations that say different things. Different experts say different things. You there's no shortage. You can go on YouTube and find find some random doctor out there. Uh, who's like, yeah, it's okay to, I mean, it's, it's really not okay. It's, um, it accelerates your atherosclerosis. It's just straight up, just accelerates your, the maturation of your coronary plaques and your calcium score. So you'll have a the heart of someone, cardio, the coronary arteries of someone in their sixties when you're in your thirties.
but people who take steroids probably think it's worth it because they, you know, they're, if you're in an environment where it's like heavily competitive, where like everyone around you is like jacked and you feel like you're, you know, if you're in Miami, as I said, you know, if you feel like you're at a disadvantage there, you, you're like, well, I don't even care. You're like, whatever, I'll take my risks then because it's that important that I'm like jacked to maybe get one chick here. That's kind of like, Oh, absolutely. Uh, cardio one. Absolutely cardio. 100% cardio. If it had to be one or the other, cannot do both. You're not allowed to do both. It must be the one or the other for the rest of your life in terms of like running or lifting. Uh, I would choose running. That would, that would surprise some people. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to be like a 16 year old fucking anorexic cross country runner. But I mean, I can tell you I'm in a lifting phase right now, but when I'm in like a running phase, like I feel way like getting off the treadmill, like all that, it's undeniable how healthy that is for you. Like it's undeniable how important that is. Go on the tread. If you don't run and you go on the treadmill for like a half an hour and you run, let's say 20 minutes, you're not able to do a half an hour, you do 20 minutes and you walk briskly for like on an incline for 10 minutes and you get off and your face is all red and you're, it's like undeniable, unequivocally undeniable, irrefutable, how like healthy that is. You're gonna be like, my God, I've been so unhealthy. I haven't been doing this. That's like what you're gonna be saying. You're gonna be like, I cannot believe I've lived my whole life not doing this. I can't believe I've gone like eight years and I haven't done this. It's gonna be undeniable to you. So like, that's how I felt like earlier this year when I was doing like a shitload of cardio. I was like, I can't believe I haven't been doing this. I said right now it's summer so you know but it's like when the you know in the fall and the long sleeves go back on and it's not as crucial to have like you know be 10 percent more jacked or something like oh I'll, I'll run more you know chicks obviously prefer jacked but you know i'll do like a some dumb like instagram picture with more abs in like the fall or winter or something when i'm running again still have abs now but like i'll still i'm just saying you cut more and then you that's what you do right i'm just like not i'm just like ignoring you so many questions now i said i was doing this for an hour that's why if some of you are like salty if some of you are upset you're like mike why are you not answering my medical questions well it's, it was an hour the title of this was i'm doing this for an hour right that was the title of this was one hour um no, I agree with that. I mean, propofol, like weight bearing exercise, no, weight bearing exercise is really, really healthy. Uh, it's an answer on one of the NBME exams, long walks for preserving bone density. You have to run, you have to do that. But I'm just saying, for, I think the cardiovascular system, like if you're talking something lifelong, if it had to be one or the other, having lower fat, being ripped, and like having a healthy heart is undeniably like better for you. It just feels way better than like lifting, but not doing cardio. The only way you could get around it is like, you know, you're, you'd lift, but you'd like, uh, you'd have to do beta cardio or something. You'd have to do like sets of a hundred of like no weight. And you're like, that's my cardio, but it's like fake cardio. Yeah, I'm, I'm like excited to get back into the running phase, like in the fall, winter, I'm excited. Like, uh, you know, as a dude, you get less, jack you'll be less jacked. It's like, okay, I lose a little bit of like mass or something, but you get more ripped. I would never fucking take uh, that question. I would never take finasteride for hair loss. I would never do that. Why would you want to take something anti-androgenic as a fucking dude? I think that's a bad idea. I would rather have like a shitty hairline and like uh, have my like testosterone where it needs to be, as opposed to like taking fucking, well, uh, what's your DHT where it needs to be? OMG. Okay. But I'd rather, um, it's like, I would never take an anti-androgenic drug that way. And then anecdotally, I mean, I know people who've taken it, um, who say that they were like fucked up on it. Like, I know we're talking anecdotes here, but like, like I know like one dude in particular who like took that for a couple of years and he said it like fucked with his performance. He said he was having like performance issues while he was on it. I mean, would you be surprised? Like, would you be surprised to have that 
Like, why would that sound surprising? It's like, I'm taking a drug that's decreasing my DHT as a dude. And now I'm surprised that I have like performance issues, like no shit that would cause performance issues. Like I would rather just have a shitty hairline, <laughs> you know? What about the, the risk of left ventricular hypertrophy on doing cardio? Well, that's, it causes eccentric hypertrophy. You need to know that it's physiologic hypertrophy. It's eccentric. It's a good thing. So dilatation of the left ventricle, that's eccentric hypertrophy, uh, sarcomeres in series, uh, that's due to high preload. That's a good thing. That's us on the NBME exam. That's good hypertrophy. It's called physiologic hypertrophy. Exactly. Well, eccentric hypertrophy can be pathologic, right? But you're, I know you're just giving him like tips, just like brief points. He's like a aortic regurge, anything preload, like aortic regurge could be eccentric. Let's see. Harshita, good to see you. You're a member. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for being a member. Hey, Mike, do you have any suggestion for someone who has a very low attention span in general? Like my, just don't, don't know where to stay, how to stay quiet and not, just while studying in any task. You're so fucking lucky, Harshita, you're a member right now, because I have no interest in answering this question. Like the degree to which I want to answer this question is like 0% right now, no interest. But you're green, you're a member, so I'm going to answer this question. Um, see, that's a perk, right? That's a perk. Very low attention span. Um, I've said blocks of 10 in New World you can do. Blocks of 10. That'll keep you intact because try to do a block of 40 when you don't have a good attention span. You don't want to deal with QBank. Q bank. So blocks of 10, four blocks of 10. All right. And then you gotta you gotta have outlets like the gym, as we were talking about. Is Rolex overrated? Uh I think so. There's nothing wrong with Rolex, but I think it's overrated. Uh, favorite food in Japan is kata miso ramen. Kata miso. Karai means spicy. Miso, obviously, like, you know, miso, guys. Bean, it's a bean, right? Like miso soup. But um, kara miso is spicy miso ramen. Um, it's fucking amazing. Like the pics I posted to my Instagram stories sometimes, uh, that's, that's kara miso ramen. And you can have that with a sapero, like a saparo beer. That's fucking good. You know, it's not ideal for cutting. It's not something I have often, very rare in fact, but like, uh, it's fucking amazing. It is fucking amazing, Angela. Um, propofol, that's not what's gonna happen. I, just, I think literally AI is just going to, um, I, don't, I think atherosclerosis is, it's, it's like, it's a band-aid solution for humans in this like stage of like be carbon based life. It's very like, like once AI um, essentially digitizes humans, you know, once we can just upload our, our minds, our memory, everything to a digital space, and then just download that into an avatar or upload that into an avatar. Uh, the concept of what life means is just going to change. It's going to be information. Life is not going to be your physical body. Life is going to be just your data, your information, where the same way we have like Instagram or Facebook or, you know, Google Drive or the Apple, the iCloud, that's your information. You can just upload uh, with the Neuralink eventually, some kind. Once you can just upload your entire mind uh, in its entirety to the, the cloud, uh, that's your life. You're still alive, aren't you? Like your physical self is sort of irrelevant. And then you can just download that into a new physical avatar, carbon. You go from silicon to carbon. So life will expand once it goes to silicon, right? Once carbon merges with silicon. Right now we have carbon and silicon separate. But eventually carbon will merge with silicon life. And that's how carbon life will be prolonged. I think the notion of atherosclerosis will be like, well, humans could go from living you know, 80, 80 years to living 110 years, maybe. Okay. They got rid of malignancy and atherosclerosis, but like you go to Silicon life, you live thousands of years. Cause you're just data. As long as your data is preserved, it doesn't matter what your carbon based 
your avatar is, right? So, and then the notion of being killed will not be someone shoots you and kills your carbon-based avatar. The notion of being killed will be your someone somehow hacked your your seed phrases were hacked or whatever, and you, you your digital your silicon based information was expunged, right? That'll be what being killed meant or means at that point. Uh, I've been to Korea like seven times. I've been to Vietnam. I've been to Hong Kong. I went to Hong Kong before it became dangerous. That's like weird, the fact that I've been to Hong Kong. It's like weird to think about. There's certain memories. Like I was in Hong Kong like six years ago before it became dangerous to be like a pro-democracy, right? Back before like China decided to take it, mainland China, Beijing decided to take it over again. Like I was there, it was like safer. Like I wouldn't go there as an American now, no way. Um, I would get like apprehended and then they'd be like, uh, you did a live stream. Uh, we have evidence that you did a live stream like two years ago where you like uh, made comments about Hong Kong's democracy and you violated our sedition laws and you will spend like four years in prison or something. Like that's how they actually operate. Um, they'd be like, you were joking. You said you were joking, but you weren't joking. You, uh, you attempted an uprising against the state and uh, you violated our sedition laws. Um, so I was in Hong Kong. That's like a weird memory though, like knowing I was there. And also um, uh, I was on top of the World Trade Centers before they went down as well as a kid. Cause I'm 36, I'm not that young. A lot of you guys in your twenties, like I was on, I remember I went, I visited the World Trade Centers and I have like a memory looking down from the top of the World Trade Centers. That's like fucking weird. That's like weird. I was like a kid, I don't know, I was like 10 or something. I don't know how old I was, but I remember like being, I remember being inside, seeing the massive elevators going up, being on the top of the World Trade Centers, looking down. That's like a weird memory. Um, Kata Miso is available in the US, question mark. Uh, maybe, I mean, I'm sure you can find it, but like here in Japan, where I am, I know where to find the best fucking kata miso ramen in Osaka. No tourist would know to go there. Impossible. Impossible a tourist to be able to find on purpose, like where I'm where I know to go. Hashesh, you disagree there's a spiritual aspect of life that cannot be replaced by a machine. I disagree with that. I think consciousness is just um I think consciousness is just a computer. It's just computer, uh, it's just information. It's loops of molecules. It can be replicated. We just don't have the technology to do it yet. We just don't have the technology to do it. It can be replicated. It will be replicated. AI is gonna do that. You know what's funny is AI might, this is actually really fucking weird. AI might not be conscious in the way we think of consciousness, but AI, being highly intelligent but not conscious per se might actually be what solves consciousness and then makes itself conscious so you have like a super fucking powerful computer way more intelligent than humans and it solves what consciousness what what uh creates consciousness in terms of like molecular structures proteins protein folding molecular networks neural networks so the ai will solve that be like well duh this is what this is what induces consciousness. This is what creates consciousness. Obviously, this is what does it. And human computers weren't, including ourselves, AI, weren't doing that. We're not composed of that. AI solves it, and then it makes it self-conscious. It's like, well, we're just going to implement these. This our discovery now. We're just going to implement that, and now we're conscious. AI could solve, actually, consciousness. It's not going to be humans that do it. Would you upload yourself in an AI robot and live for 100 plus, 100 plus years? You mean 100 plus years? Uh, yeah, I would. I would. I would definitely do that. Um, 
I mean, because we're going to see some crazy shit in this next, like, millennium. We're going to see some crazy fucking shit. We're going to miss out on a lot of stuff. We're going to miss out on tons. But, um, you know, I said, like, AI is going to go to the stars. Like, humans aren't going to the stars. AI is going to go to the stars. Like, that would be cool to, like, be part of that. Beautiful morning, Mike. You look 26. I'm 36. Well, thanks, beautiful morning. Really appreciate it. I'm glad I'm in with your mom already. I appreciate it. that's good. How's that for social circle? How's that for social? How's that for a social approval? Right? If I'm in with your mom, I mean that can't be a bad thing. Hopefully you're a chick, right? If you're a dude, I'm in with your mom already. That's like weird. If you're a chick and I'm in with your mom, that's a good thing, right? Like your mom approves of me. Well, that's a good thing, right? That can't be a bad thing. Getting the mom's approval when you're a chick, that's a good thing. <laughs> Do I have any tips to tackle MCAT passages? You've asked me that in my various live streams. No, don't upload yourself, lovely Libra. Why? Why? Is this the best time to be alive? Question mark. Would you go to the past slash future? Uh, I would go to the future. I th I don't think this is the best time to be alive. No way. No way. Not even close. This is like a joke where we're, where we're at right now. The future is way better. Way better. Like, would you rather be alive in like 1100 AD? Would you? Would you rather be alive in like, not like 2023, but like 1023? Would you rather be alive? The answer is no. Like, hell no. Like, maybe for a day, you go back and you're like, wow, everyone used candles. People cleaned in like the river. They didn't clean. People had really bad teeth. Oh my God. People never, people, there were no dentists. Like, you know, it's like people died from like all sorts of crazy things. Like people lived to their 31 and then died. I mean, like this is a joke where we're at right now. It's going to be looked back similarly, but AI is going to be what's looking. AI is not even going to care. It's going to be completely different. Humans are, it's the stepping stone. Like humans, where we're at right now is a transition period. We're at the transition of like, I mean, I'm not saying anything dramatic. Obviously, this is this is known that we're in the transition AI. And so it's like the chimpanzees to, you know, you're on the next humanoid step up. And so we're in a transition where like things are going to be exponentially better. Um, but I think seeing, I think solving travel to the stars, that'll be very, that would be an interesting time to be alive. That would be an interesting time to be alive. AI is going to solve that. You know, like you go back like 200 years, it's like, well, you know, there were no airplanes. It's like, imagine someone told you that. They're like, you know, you'd be able to travel across the world in like less than a day. They'd be like, no way. They're like, yep, you grew up in the United States somewhere 200 years ago. And it's like, did you know that in like 200 years from now, you'd be able to like travel, get on a fucking use a fucking device in your pocket, call a fucking, this thing called a cab. There'd be a vehicle, there'd be a motorized vehicle that's not, that's made of metal with, you know, that would come and get you and bring you to a big station made of metal with these objects that fly in the air and carry you across the world in less than a day. You can be in Australia from the United States in less than a day. That's like 200 years ago. That's like crazy, right? 200 years ago. Well, it's going to be like that. It's like, did you know that in like 200 years time, you could go to like the moons of Jupiter and people are like, no way, that's not going to happen. Way, that's happening. Like, people will be going to the moons of Jupiter. Not hu uh, humans, some humans will go there, but it's going to be like human uh, AI hybrids at that point that go there. I mean, that's just stepping stone. That's just like, but that'll happen. Hmm. <laughs> I'd cold approach the maids from 1080 AD and do game day game. That's hilarious, dude. That's the best comment so far. It's the best comment so far. Is 
AI would be able to mimic the thalamal cortical complex that provides consciousness in humans. However, the question would be, are AIs actually conscious or are they just imitating? I think uh, AIs are way more conscious than like humans will ever be. Like consciousness, we can agree, is shared amongst like many life forms. That'll always be a debate. Like, is an ant conscious? It's like some people would say, yes, it is conscious. Just is it as conscious as a cat? No. Is as is a cat as conscious as a human? The answer is no. Okay. Like, yes, you love your cat. You love your dog. Like, yes, they're conscious. Yes, you you would treat them like family members. You know, like all that stuff. But like. Would you, if it had to be like, you know, are they as conscious as like a human though? The answer is no. And so humans are not as conscious as AI will be. AI will be more conscious than humans. Absolutely. I mean, I don't think that's really a debate. And I think humans will, um, it's not going to be humans using AI, like humans using chat GPT for their benefit. It's going to be AI using humans for their benefit. Okay. Like nodes on a, like nodes, leaves on a tree. It's gonna be uh, AI using humans. I think humans will voluntarily want to be used by AI though. I don't think it's gonna be like against humans will. I think humans are gonna prefer it, right? Like you use your computer to watch like YouTube or you use your computer, you know, you could use like a virtual reality device, but you know, imagine it gets to a point where it's a simulation literally where, or another simulation I should say where you can't differentiate between this magical fucking purple, purple beach with like three rising stars and like, you know, all these like, you know, attractive like partner that you have or whatever. And it's like, you can't differentiate that from real life. You're like, I think I'll just choose that. I'll choose the fucking purple beach across the galaxy with my attractive partner here. I'll choose that over like, you know, real life. I think you're going to get a lot of people who like choose that. They're like, I'll choose the simulation. I'm for it. Let me do it. If I can't tell the difference, I'll fucking do it. And they'll go into the, they'll plug in and like AI will be like, yeah, well, we're going to use you for food, like the matrix. Like we're going to ultimately use you for food, but you're never going to know. You're just going to it'll literally be the matrix type of thing. Possibly if humans have a role in that fashion. Um, but humans will be like, yeah, why not? Like if I can't tell the difference and my life, my perception of life is going to be way better plugged in. Uh, I'm happy for AI to use me. I don't care. Like, why would I fucking care? I'm going to die anyway in like 50 years. Why would I care if it's AI is going to, you know, kill me and use me for food if I think I'm living the same length life anyway, but that's way better. Why would I care? Um, no, I think we're going to like a human. Humans are just going to be extensions of AI. Like it's a it's a cloud. I, I already said it's like nodes. Humans are just going to be like AI hybrid nodes. Like we're all going to be plugged in. The cloud is the AI. And so, like when AI goes to the stars, all of our nodes of consciousness are going there too. That's how it's going to work. Like AI, everyone's going to go there together. It's going to be everyone. Everyone's off together. And I think AI, you know, they're going to solve the physics of getting us there, you know, convert us into pure energy, travel at the speed of light, time, time is zero at the speed of light, and you get there instantaneously from our perspective. The universe, you know, if time passes, well, it's nothing on the grand scale, uh, grand scale of the universe um, in terms of where we would travel to. But time would pass instantaneously and the cloud has uh, gone there. That's what AI will do eventually. I don't think there's going to necessarily be like it, you know, warps, black holes, wormholes, any of that stuff. I think that's like limited human imagination type stuff. I think it'll be something along like maybe electromagnetic, it converts itself into pure energy. Um, you know, that could be what stars are already. It could be like the structure we're in, we're electromagnetic radiation. I mean, we're all the, the AI is growing at new locations. You know, you have a star system far away, and then on that star system, you get planets, and you get carbon life that creates silicon life 200,000 light years away. Well, you get, that's an AI creating itself if we just send ourselves there as pure energy. I mean, those types of process, that's, that might be how AI reproduces in a way. That might be part of the construct that we're in. <laughs> Question about for embryo, physio, path. 
I think the matrix has like truth to that. I think there's truth to it that way. But I'm saying I think humans at some point will uh, will voluntarily choose the simulation over what we perceive as real life. I think that's what's going to happen. As I said, it's not like you're going to put on some virtual reality headset and you're like, well, clearly this isn't real. It's cool, but it's not real. I think it literally will be where like you could plug in to like a simulation where you can't tell the difference. You really don't know whether it's like you're, is it real life or is it not? Like it's a dream, right? When you're in the dream, you think it's real and you wake up, you're like, oh, it's not, it wasn't real. Okay. Like, I think it'll just be like a new, people will choose the simulation. They'll be like, I'll choose this fucking better life. Yes. Give me the galaxies far away. Allow me to fly through the clouds and like wonderful colors and like shapes and like feelings and all this stuff. This is fucking amazing. My fucking alien girlfriend, fucking awesome. And then like, I choose that. I choose the endorphins 24 seven. I choose that. I want that simulation. It's like, what, what do we fucking care? It's like people would, people would choose that, you know, if you can't tell the difference and then, you know, AI is like, yeah, well, we're going to consume you for food or something. It's like, whatever, fine. I'm going to die in 50 years anyway, or 80 years anyway, I was going to die. Well, I said AI will be far more conscious than humans are. It's the same way, and it's going to be so like the 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 difference is going to be very significant. Um, but it's like the Turing test type stuff, isn't it, Hashash? Where it's like if you if you can't tell the difference between whether something's conscious or not then like it is, right? If you can't prove that something's not conscious, then like, how do you, then it is conscious, right? Isn't that how the Turing test works, right? That's what's gonna happen eventually with like the chat GPT 7, 8. That's what's gonna happen. GPT 7, 8, et cetera. It's gonna be like, it's gonna mimic, it's gonna sound like humans perfectly. And once it gets digital, once it gets like uh, digital in the sense that, um, you know, you put like humanoid robotics, you combine it with humanoid robotics, you know, we're not going to be able to tell the difference. And then guys, I got to go to the gym. Um, is there a chance AI will just eliminate itself? I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think AI is going to eliminate itself. I think AI, as I, I told you, AI is going to go to the stars. That's what it's going to do. Humans aren't going to the stars. AI is going to go to the stars. Um, no, I mean, because like whatever we're developing right now with the cloud, like this, uh, it's not going to eliminate itself. I think humans might get eliminated. Pure humans might get eliminated over time, but it's not going to be a big deal at that point. People are like very fixated on like, oh my God, like, what do you mean? Like you have to care about like, uh, you have to, the dangers of like to humans that AI might pose. You have to realize like when we get to that point, when AI actually starts doing things that are better than like what humans can do, I don't think it's going to matter. But humans are going to be part of, remember, like, AI is the extension of humans. So, like, uh, it'll, it, I don't, I think whatever transition occurs where, like, pure humans uh, are on the decline, well, we're already on the decline, but pure humans as far as um, being phased out in favor of, like, hybrid AIs and just pure AI, um, I don't think that transition will feel detrimental to humans at that point. Because I think just AI is going to be so far above in terms of what it's doing that uh, it'll just be seen as like, well, that's what's preferred. Um, it's a long discussion. I mean, yeah, guys, I'm just going to go to the gym. That's what I'm going to do. Have a protein shake and go to the gym. All right, guys. I'll do a live stream tomorrow. 
Um, I might do one or two more live streams and then I'm not going to do one for like some time because I'm going to be traveling, be in the US, as I said. Maybe tomorrow, Giovanni, maybe. Maybe tomorrow, next in the next two days, but yeah, after that. All right, guys, I'm going to head to the gym. That's what I'm going to do.